So we have the beginning of some thunderstorms moving into parts of northwestern Michigan around the Traverse City area. Most of northern Michigan is under a flood watch issued by the National Weather Service. Presque County as well as Sheboygan are excluded from the flood watch. But for all the other areas here highlighted in green, we could see a localized amounts up to three inches through tonight and into early tomorrow because of some strong thunderstorms moving into the area. On the radar and satellite image, we are seeing those strong thunderstorms now pushing across Lake Michigan into the Traverse City area. And by about 7.30 or 8 o'clock, we will start to see some thunderstorms in our area. This is a look at future radar, what we can expect going into this evening. The red and the purples indicate the strongest thunderstorms initially for uh, our northern areas. So places farther to the south like Tawa City and back towards West Branch will remain uh, mainly dry until about 9 o'clock and then we will see the strong thunderstorms affecting all of the area that will begin to clear out around midnight and then into tomorrow morning we'll still see some scattered on and off showers but overall much quieter weather into tomorrow. This is a look at the area that may see severe thunderstorms through this evening highlighted in yellow and orange affecting most of northern Michigan and the main risks for this evening will be heavy downpours leading to possible flooding as well as the risk of some potentially damaging wind gusts well over 50 miles per hour. Right now in Alpino, we're seeing cloudy skies with a temperature of 79 degrees. Winds are coming uh, in calm right now, but it's very muggy outside with dew point values near 70. We're seeing temperatures of 78 degrees in Harrisville, 82 degrees in West Branch, and 78 in Atlanta. On the wider look of the Midwest temperatures, the really hot and sticky air mass is sinking to the southeast. It's 90 degrees in Detroit, 90 in Indianapolis. But look at these cooler temperatures to our northwest. It's 58 degrees in Duluth, 62 degrees in Bismarck, a sign of some changes to our weather on the way. On the wider picture of the radar and satellite image, you can see this long cluster of thunderstorms over Wisconsin and parts of Iowa. All of this is moving eastward. That's our thunderstorm activity for tonight. And then tomorrow we will see some clearing skies building in from the northwest. So through tonight, we're going to see rain and thunderstorms spreading into the area. Definitely the risk of strong to severe storms this evening. The risk of severe weather will begin to wrap up around midnight and then into tomorrow we will see gradually clearing skies. Many spots across uh, northern Michigan could easily see one to two inches of rain. For tonight, low temperatures about 62 in Alpena, 67 in Mayo with the heavy rain and thunderstorms in the area. For tomorrow, only 70 degrees for a daytime high, morning rain with clearing skies late in the day. We will see clearing weather late on Wednesday, temperatures near 70 at the shoreline, a dry day on Thursday with cooler temperatures in the area. For tomorrow, we're going to see rain in the morning, clearing skies late in the day with highs around 70. Highs around 70 on Thursday, but a completely dry day from start to finish with partly cloudy skies. Mostly sunny on Friday with warmer temperatures, highs reaching 76 degrees. As we go into the weekend, a chance for a couple scattered thunderstorms Saturday afternoon with highs of 81. Partly cloudy for Sunday and Monday with highs in the upper 70s.